So the last couple GOAT race career sims, especially with point cards, have been out of this world. The Lamelo Ball one and the John Moran one, we have seen these guys become the best point guards of all time and pretty much the best players of all time, at least for Lamelo's case. So we've done a couple wings before with Luka Doncic, whatever you want to call Zion Williamson, I guess he's more of a big. And today we are going to take control of Jason Tatum, who's an 88 overall now in 2K. I feel like maybe that's gone down a little bit since the start of 2K, I'm not really sure with the roster updates. But yeah, we are going to be doing a GOAT race career sim with Jason Tatum. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? The Celtics have had their issues in real life. This is not going to be a rebuild. I did a rebuild with them. Main move I got was Fred Van Vliet. You can watch that. It was a couple videos ago. So I am not controlling anything. I'm going to be the watcher from the What If series. I'm only going to interfere if we have to. So if Jason Tatum does not have like a championship at age 28, probably going to hop in. But the Celtics do fairly well in the simulation. We have another all-star on this team in Jalen Brown. So I'm comfortable that things should get done. So Jason Tatum is going to be getting 34 minutes. He's had very good start to his career. Now the first two seasons aren't going to help him become the best scorer of all time as the most points. But the last two will. He's 23 years old. He's got another 14 years left. Let's get this video started. So we end the season as the one seed. That's something I did mention. Yeah, Celtics are great in the simulation. So I think that we should get at least a couple of titles with Jason Tatum in this video. Uh, we get a coach of the year in Emeo Doka. I'm hoping we get a couple MVPs as well. He does not make All-NBA first team. He does make All-NBA second team, which is very nice. 26 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 50, 41, 82 splits. From a 19-year-old is really freaking good. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's going to be the only time I make that joke in this video. But yeah, Tatum's already 24. Kind of growing up before our eyes. So yeah, it's like weird for me now that I'm not older than Jason Tatum. I'm 22. He's what, I guess 23 in real life. It's just like a lot of these guys that are coming to the league now. Like, I'm older than I know maybe some of you have already experienced that for a while now. It's just weird, you know? Like, I, I think Zion's like a week younger than me or something like that, which is just mind-blowing. So yeah, this team was led by Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. It looks like no trades were made. Okay. No trades in year one, which is fine with me. Let me just make sure that I have it on where they can make trades. Oh, and I don't. Why do I always not turn that one on? Okay, whatever. So we're going to have to win a championship without any trades made. Let's see the updated rotation they pull out for the playoffs. Tatum's going to be getting 38 minutes a night. And let's see if Tatum and the uh, Celtics, almost said Bucks, can get a championship in year one. And oh my god. We lost in seven in round one to the Bulls. Well, first of all, what a shitty round one opponent to get. Second of all, really, 2K? You already had to do that to me. Tatum was fine. He couldn't hit a free throw to save his life. But wow, <laughs> we actually are a one seed and we lose in seven games in round one. Oh, I hate when they do this to me and the Lakers win it all. LeBron your finals MVP. All right, so rookie signings. We got Gene Montero at 29. Kobe Doyle, sure, you don't have to sign him. Uh, so we got Gene Montero out of the overtime league. They're going to decline the team option on Horford and Richardson, as well as Hernan Gomez. Uh, and Langford, wow, we pick it up on Aaron Nesmith, or Aaron Nesmith, sorry. Uh, Peyton Pritchard and Gus, Wh Gus Williams, geez, Grant Williams. Wow, I am on one right now. So uh, let's see what they do in free agency. Probably nothing crazy. I don't know what free agents they have. Langford and Fernando is who they have bird rights on. They don't have bird rights on Horford. Okay. Uh, they bring back Horford, though, on a two-year deal. You know what? If that's the move you're going to make and you can't afford Kyle Anderson, that is funny. And they bring back Emmett's Freedom on a two-year deal. Or maybe they couldn't afford him because they just renounced the rights with him. And they signed Blake Griffin to five mil a year. They also pick up Damian Lee. They bring back Josh Richardson. I don't really know if I'm a huge fan of this for agency class. Cassius Stanley, just shout out to more Duke players joining Jason Tatum here. Uh, and then a couple other two-way guys were signed. So player progression, Jason Tatum's up to a 93 overall, 94 in the top right. It, it will be a shame if we don't get a championship as like we're going to be one seeds throughout these regular seasons. All right, so the rotation is going to be Smart, Brown, Tatum, Horford, Williams with Williams, Richardson, Gene Montero, DeAndre Bembry, and Daniel Tice. Welcome back here to Boston off the bench. I guess Houston released him. Because I know he had more years left on his contract, so that's kind of shocking. Uh, I don't think he was traded, but you know, maybe he was traded in the offseason. 2K just won't show me. That could have happened. Well, actually, I could find that out if I look at his contract. And nope, they released him. Wow. All right. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, too. Can we get a championship if we're going to be the one seed, please? All right, so Luka ends up winning MVP, so no MVP for Tatum this year, which is fine. Uh, we get Coach of the Year, Mayo Doka, and it's unfortunate because, like, Mayo Doka in real life had done a great job with Boston this year. As Tatum has an MVP caliber season, I don't know how he doesn't get it this year. Does he get any all-defensive teams? There's Marcus Smart. Nope, no all-defensive team, which is fine. We are the one seed again. We'll see if 2K wants to screw us over. Did we make any trades throughout the year? Yep, we got Montrezl Harrell. 
Looks like he was signed, actually. Tatum puts up, like I mentioned, MVP numbers. Don't think we made any other trades. Yeah, no, nothing really there. Uh, I just want to see, because I swore I turned it on the first year, so if they're turning it off every year, I'll be upset. Nope, it's on. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Playoff rotation, Gene Montero, who was not great as a rookie, but you know, it's, he's a rookie. So, yeah, this is the rotation right now. Tatum's going to be getting 38 minutes for the playoffs. Who do we have in round one? Brooklyn. Really? Am I going to lose as a one seed two years in a row? That would be kind of funny. Nope, we end up beating the Brooklyn Nets in five games, which is good. <laughs> it's better than losing two years in a row as the one seed. So let's see what happens here. Tatum was 45, 37, 87. Not bad at all. We have Charlotte, so we have to go up against LaMelo Ball in the simulation. That is always tough. And we have a close series, and we win in seven. Wow, game seven, we blew them out by 23 points. Tatum drops 40, 12, and seven. That is mind-blowing. All right, and now we got Philly here in the conference finals. Uh, this has been a rivalry in the playoffs a little bit. Each have gotten one win. Or no, Boston may be 2-0 in the last couple of years against them. So let's see what happens here. Can we beat the 76ers and move on to the NBA finals for Tatum? Yes, we can. We win in five. And in the playoffs so far, Jason Tatum's averaging 33 points, not rebound, six assists. This is like going to start your legacy. If you could beat Zion and the Pelicans, we're always so good in the simulation, but can we defeat them? And can we win in five? Three to those four series. The Celtics got them done. And gentlemen sweeps, we end up, uh, it was a close one with the Hornets, but Tatum gets a finals MVP trophy at 25. Let's go. Off to a good start. Bunch of jersey retirements here. Go on to league meetings. Yeah, not going to switch anything it looks like. So we'll see who they took in the 2023 draft. So we ended up with Jacob Toppin related to Obi Toppin, possibly Sajuka Naganya there at 35 and Jaden Bradley there at 36. So Pritchard and Aaron Neesmith are coming back. Shout out to the 2020 draft class. And then will they make any plays in free agency, renouncing the rights? Just really on Grant Williams and Montrezl Harrell begging. You signed Steve Adams for three years. I mean, you just won a championship, Brad Stevens, so do what you want. Shimo Kiki, one year, 5.2 mil, not bad. And you're going to get Otto Porter. You know what? I like the wing depth, and they're able to sign all of those guys. Demarcus Cousins on a one-year deal. You know what? I don't mind this free agency. Like, I like the pickups of Porter, Okiki, and Cousins, I don't really like this Steven Adams pickup. There was probably better options out there. And Jason Tatum's now up to a 95, but I think a big story here is Jalen Brown's barely progressed. I mean, it says he's an 87, he's an 85. I don't really know what he is. All right, so we're on to year three now. We got G Montero, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, the Triple J's. Then we got Otto Porter, Robert Williams, Josh Rich, Marcus Smart, Aaron uh, Neesmith, Cedric Ray, uh, Peyton Pritchard. But yeah, we're not going to start. Oh, wait, I don't see... Steven Adams. So maybe we ended up choosing Otto Porter over him. Guess that makes sense. System proficiency is four star balance. Let's go out and win another championship. So we are a one seed again this year. So we should be the favorites to win the Eastern Conference. It is unfortunate that Jason Tatum is yet to get an MVP award. He's having MVP caliber seasons, but he's not getting that love, which will hurt his MV or excuse me, his GOAT case. He gets all NBA first team, but he needs that big one. He is 26 years old. We'll take a look to see if this Celtics team looks any different for the playoffs. So I noticed Brandon Clark is here now. Looks like he was signed, not traded for. And that was pretty much it. But yeah, Jalen Brown only getting 29 minutes for the playoffs. Like, are we sure about that? How's she Montero developing? Pretty good. In his second, uh, he had a pretty good sophomore year. So we are going to be taking on the Philadelphia 76ers, extending that rivalry, but we pretty much win it every year. So we'll see if that trend continues or they're gonna pull off the upset. And we have a close series and we win in seven because of course we gotta go to seven in round one. Tatum does just fine. Now we got Detroit in round two. They Blake Wesley. Okay. Kate Cunningham, Dylan Brooks, Jeremy Grant, Isaiah Stewart, TD Bay. That is a very good team. So let's see what happens here. And boom, we win in five. That is what I'm talking about. And now we have Cleveland here who has Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Lowry Markkinen, Isaac Okoro, Darius Garland. And I think we should beat them. And we are in our second straight NBA championship. Jason Tatum is averaging 30 points in these playoffs at a 70% true shooting clip now we got minnesota who honestly doesn't scare me as much as new orleans does so i think we should pick up the finals victory and for the second year in a row we beat andre drummond in the finals i believe he was on the belicans last year i just saw him on the tim wolves and tatum takes home his second finals mvp and holy shit he averaged 39 points in those four games game one 41 point triple double game two he jumps 50 a 50 piece in the finals 2018 lebron-esque but he's picking up the win Game three, Tatum drops 26, and game four, he drops 39. 
That's a good GOAT case right there. LeBron just retired as well. Him, Russ, Dwight going to the Hall of Fame. So Dedrick Cotton here was our rookie at 30. They're bringing back Montero, Sajuke, and Jaden Bradley. All the draft picks from the 2023. Or 20, some 2022, some 2023 guys. are actually, I think, all from 2022. Uh, so we'll see what they do in free agency. Is Jalen Brown like a free agent? No. Uh, I'm sure they, they're going to keep re-signing Brown and Tatum. So we'll see if we pick up anybody new. Kavon Looney is the pickup this year. Okay, I mean, we've won two championships in a row, and oh, I don't think, like, 2 is gonna let me sign all three of these guys, only one. I wouldn't mind if John Wall was the one we chose, so let me just see which is the one we got, and it was Kavon Moody, damn. Boo, I think John Wall would've been more fun. We bring back Aaron Neesmith on a uh, contract worth a little bit more than 12 mil a year. Josh Richardson comes back for, like, fourth, fifth straight year, probably, like, fifth straight, eh. No, probably fourth straight year now in Boston, and we get cash to stay I feel like I always get him on two-way contracts, in these goat race career sims so here's the play progression i mean tatum has been carrying that's the only like explanation for us winning these championships so let's hope that keeps going next year so here is the lineup Jaden bradley getting a decent amount of minutes this year there's the gk uh aaron Easton. like or yeah we just signed him for over 12 million a year we're just not gonna play him uh, that is 2k for you so system proficiency four and a half star balanced Let's go and get this 3 P. All right, so we're one seed again, but Luka Doncic is stealing all these MVPs from Jason Tatum. How? Like, I would actually love to see where, like, the Mavericks are in the seeding. Like, they're the third seed? Come on, give it to a one seed. A fourth straight one seed. And why couldn't Luka win these MVP awards in the Luka GOAT race career sim? So, here are the player stats. Doesn't look like any trades were really made throughout the year. Oh, we got Chris Boucher. We actually did trade for Chris Boucher. Usually those, like, would feel like a signing. So that trade included Derek Cotton, who was, like, the 30th overall pick a couple years ago. Okay. I don't really mind that trade. I don't really have a feeling about it or any say. So that is the rotation we are going with in the playoffs. Let's see if Jason Tatum can three-peat in finals MVPs. That would be kind of incredible. But you never know. It is 2K, so we might lose in round one. But nope, we beat the Pistons in five. Sweep the Raptors. And we blow, I believe, a 3-1 to one lead to the Cavs. Oh, my God. We were up 1-0. It was 1-1, 2-1, 3-1. to one, to one, three to one. Uh, In Game 5, we got blown out. Jeez, that was a bad one. Tatum wasn't good. Game 6, we lost by 11. Tatum played well. And in Game 7, we lost by 28 points. And, uh, yeah, Tatum folded, man. That is quite unfortunate. And Luka gets MVP and Finals MVP in the same season. Bruh. DeRozan retired with the Lakers. That's pretty cool. Just because he's from, you know, Cali. Uh, I believe he's from Compton. Could be wrong. Maybe thinking of somebody else, but I, I believe that is where he's from in Ella or in Cali. So they got Hakeem Udo. Uh, maybe re related to Epe Udo. Yeah, possibly. Uh, we're going to bring back G. Montero and Obi's brother. Don't actually know if that's Obi's brother or not. Never really drafted him before. So it is free agency time. Uh, Jalen Brown, I guess, has been re-signed because I do, do wonder if they would let him walk to free agency. This guy's actually just no star system match. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So let's see what happens. Gary Payton, uh, the second, gets his rights reannounced. And we don't do anything during the first three days during moratorium, but then we end up signing Malik Monk, who's coming off a very good season with Phoenix. Damn. Surprised we got him for that cheap. Aaron Neesmith comes back on a... Why? Why? I don't even know. I guess that three-year deal didn't happen last year. So we give him a two-year deal after not playing him at all. I don't really agree with that. I'm sure we got one more signing left in us. Come on, who's it going to be? Not Cassius Stanley. I thought there would actually be like a, a real signing, not a two-way. And yeah, I was wrong. Okay, I guess we have enough guys on the rotation. So Tatum actually drops in an overall. This will be his age 28 season coming up. Okay, so this is what Tatum's, uh, what, eighth year? Ninth year is going to look like? Wait, he's been through four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, his ninth year. Pretty much a rotation that looks very similar to last year. We've just added Malik Monk. So we'll see what happens. And yeah, I'm just hoping this team can win another championship. Tatum now has two finals MVPs. He ended up, where did we lose? I think it was in round two last year where we blew the three to one lead to Cleveland. So let's not have that happen again. So we end up as the one seed for the fifth year in a row, but another Maverick steals MVP from Jason Tatum in Chet Holmgren. They, I didn't even know they drafted Chet. I don't know if they signed him. No, they drafted him. How do you have Chet and Luka? I don't see Luka's name though. So I guess that really dropped off his numbers this year. Uh, so yeah, one Maverick out, one Maverick in. 
Tatum was sixth in scoring, had an incredible season, but I think he may go his career now with getting an MVP. Ton of all me verse teams, but that's not good for the legacy. So we have Philly once again in round one. We've been beating them every single year. We have Kyra Lewis now. This was a signing, not a trade. I'm all for that. Tijuke's up to an 83 overall. Not terrible. Not great, but I'm sure he's good defensively. Daron Sharp. Okay, I, I thought, I don't know why Montero doesn't start, he's better. Um, I, I thought we traded Mont or Williams for Sharp, but nope, we have both. We did trade for Sharp, though, and we have Oladipo, who we traded for. So, yeah, there were some moves being made this year. Brad Stevens was on the line. We traded Kavon Mooney in the first for Sharp. Okay, um, that's not the worst thing, uh, but giving up first is always something that could happen, but I think we're going to be fine. And we traded Otto Porter for Oladipo. I'm cool with that. So let's see what happens here in round one. We've been owning the Sixers in this video, and we keep that trend going. We beat another Atlantic Division team, and we end up winning the finals. All right. First of all, cool. Tatum finals MVP. What happened here? 1-0, 1-1. We were up. Oh, no. We were tied 2-2. 3-2 two to two, three to two us. 3-3. Three to three, And then we won in game seven. Shout out to Jalen Brown and Chijuke in this game. Chijuke. 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm going to butcher his name every time. I apologize. And we won in six here. All right. Shout out to this team. That gets Jason Tatum his third finals MVP award. Uh, still doesn't have an MVP. So I do want to see where he is all time in total points. He honestly might not even be in the top 100. Zach Levine is. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be in the top 100. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm looking. I don't know. Devin Booker is. Now, nah, yeah, no shot. He's in the top 100. Okay, we still have some work to do with Jason Tatum. But he's got a good streak going. Curry there is in the Hall. Of, like, he's going to go to the Hall of Fame. Yep. Uh, former Celtic also retired in uh, Gordon Hayward. So Larry Best and Bradford Terry, we are going to sign as our rookies. Bring back Jacob Toppin, even though he's never really played for us. So we have a ton of free agents. Let's see what 2K does. Uh, they're going to renounce a ton, which is interesting. They signed Kendrick Nunn. I'm a poet. I didn't even know it. And they get Garrett Oliver. Please tell me you're going to re-sign some of our guys. That is a lot to leave, especially Gene Montero. Terrence Manna, Fasundo, and Capazzo. Oh, Mo Wagner, you're really going to let all those guys walk. Holy shit, Brad Stevens. You really just gutted this team. Like, Gene Montero, gone. Robert Williams, gone. Oh, my God, this team sucks. <laughs> this team absolutely sucks. Brad Stevens, what the hell did you just do? Unless we sign a couple guys on the last day. Oh, my God. We get Robert Williams back on a one-year deal. You really let Gene Montero walk. You are so stupid. Watch him win most improved this year. All right, so we have Composo Brown, Tatum, and oh, yeah. He was like, we're not playing Jacob Toppin. You are going to say that, Matt? Yeah, we're going to give him 25 minutes in the starting four spot this year. Okay, I'm fully ready for this team to kind of suck. And I could see us being like the five seed this year and not retaining our championship. Yeah, I, I told you this was not going to be a good year. And we finished as the ninth seed. Like we may not even make the playoffs if this team doesn't go off in the playing tournament. And that is just straight up embarrassing. Tatum still gets all NBA first team. But the team around him is just, it's dog shit. It, it's so bad. I don't know why you let Gene Montero walk. That was just so stupid. And you had his bird rights too. And he was restricted. But yeah, we don't need him. Like, what? This is why it's so painful sometimes to watch the CPU build this team. We signed Jordan Poole. We're not going to re-sign him. Not like he was anything amazing for us this year. Oh, boy. All right. So, let me just take a look here at the stats. Like, who performed well? Like, Jacob Toppin. Ugh. I mean, like, 54% true shooting. How was Hakeem Udo? He was all right. There's Oladipo, who's just hasn't been really... I mean, he's been all right. Oh, man. It's kind of kind of sucks. So, uh, I don't know. J Did Jalen Brown get a new contract? He is going to pay two years. I'm sure he's going to get re-signed, even though they should trade him. Maybe I'll hop in and trade him. So we're in the play-in tournament. We have the Cavs. We need to beat them. And then we would have to also beat the loser of the Knicks, Bulls. And we have a back-and-forth game here with the Cavs. Really back-and-forth at the moment. Not looking great. We're down by five with under three minutes to go. Tatum is putting in the work. I mean, Robert Williams is doing all right. How is Jalen Brown? I don't know. I think we should look to move Jalen Brown, but it's not going to happen. And we end up actually pulling off the dub. Holy crap, what a finish. We scored 48 points in that fourth quarter. 93 total points scored in that quarter between each team. Just no defense being played at all. So now we have the Knicks here, who have De'Aaron Fox and Ben Thompson, RJ, hey, OB versus Jacob Toppin. So this should be a fun game. I think the Knicks team is a little bit more talented. It's a little bit more well-rounded, balanced. But hey, 
We do have the best player in the series in Jason Tatum, but that does not matter at all as we get blown out of the building. Battle between gardens. We lose by 21. Yeah, we have Tatum, but the rest of the team is shit. And what a waste of Tatum's prime. Thanks a lot, Brad Stevens. So the Phoenix Suns win the 2027 NBA Finals, and they have Kevin Durant, PJ Washington, Dante DiVincenzo. Cam Thomas has joined KD there. Also, Walker Kessler did. Uh, oh, no. I'm thinking of Kessler Edwards. But yeah, KD retires on top with a ring with the... Sons, we have four guys heading to the Hall of Fame this year. So let's see, is Brad Stevens gonna make any moves this offseason? Or is he just gonna run back another dog shit team? I'm just so upset after last year. And oh, we had the 10th overall pick. Oh, yeah, that is our pick. We get Stacey Garnett. Hey, a point guard. You know, you could have had another point guard if you re-signed Gene Montero, you dumbass. All right, so we have Oladipo and Jacob Toppin as free agents. I don't think we have any cap space, but who knows what happens. We re the rights on Oladipo. Robert Williams gets a three-year extension. Uh, and you were going to go after Christian Wood. All right, we bring back Robert Williams. You get Dylan Wong. Oh, my God. Brad Stevens, I hate you. What is this team? Oladipo comes back on a two-year deal. Oh, like, we had such a deep roster. No one's the well. Sure, the minivan. I don't really think that's going to change much. Bruce Brown. All right, well, I'll give you one more year. If this goes to shit, I I'm going to probably trade Jalen Brown. But yeah, Brown and Tatum both have one year's left on their deals. The team outside them isn't very good. I'm sure 2K will re-sign them. All right, so we have Garrett Oliver. Jesus. <laughs> Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Dylan Wong. Oh, my God. I am going to throw up on this team, so I may have to interfere next offseason because I don't know what the hell is going to happen after this one. So we ended up as the three seed this year, which is kind of shocking because I think this team was somehow worse than last year, and we were a couple seats higher. Giannis is on the Kings. Well, that's kind of mind-blowing. All right, so Jason Tatum does not get MVP, but another All-NBA first team. So I don't think he's going to get one. He's 30 years old, but man, he's won all -NBA, or he's been on All-NBA first team for kind of the last decade now. So I don't really think he can be the GOAT without any MVPs, even though he has two finals MVPs. I don't think it's possible. So I just noticed we have Chris Dorte on the team, who's going to be starting at small forward. We signed him. I wish we would have bird rights on him to get him long-term because he's pretty good. Now, to kind of quickly look at Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, Contract extensions were dealt to both of them. So, yeah, I guess Brown is not going anywhere. There's Robert Williams, Oladipo, Terrence Mann, uh, Calbert Childress, who was traded from OKC. And then I just kind of want to see maybe who we gave up for this Childress guy. Uh, Dylan Long, who was our starting power forward. Okay. So, we'll see if we can knock off the Pistons in round one. They have Blake Wesley, who's a 95 overall, and they have Kate Cunningham, who's a 96 overall, and there's Sajuke, who we let walk as well. He's really good, so that was just another dumb move by Brad Stevens, and we end up losing in five. Ah, I mean, I wish this team was better, but no. Like, we're going up against a stud Pistons team, and we just don't have the depth, the ammunition to compete with some of these squads here in 2028. So the Toronto Raptors win it all, and Prince... Elite Bay is your final MVP. Pretty cool. It's actually pretty dope to be named Prince. And Kawhi retires for the Clippers. There goes Victor Oladipo. Not like our team had any depth anyway, or just a depth problem. I'm not going to eliminate the goaltending rule. That would just be utter chaos. I would actually like to see how that would affect the scoring one day, but not for this one. I'm trying to make Jason Tatum the GOAT. So uh, we are here at Rookie Signings, but first things first, I want to see if Jason Tatum is now in the all-time scoring list. I think I might have saw his name in there briefly. Like De'Aaron Fox is here, so Jason Tatum has to be here. Uh, there's Joel Embiid, there's Jimmy Butler, but yeah, Jason Tatum looks like he's in the top 50. He's in front of Luka, he's 49. All right, just give me another 30 point per game season and he might be in the top 40s. So we have no rookie signings here, team player options, we have two. Free agency time, let's see what happens. Uh, do we make any moves here? We get Kobe White on a three year deal. You know what? Not a terrible starting point guard, so I hope that comes true. And we have to choose, actually him or Trey Mann is fine. I don't know which one we end up signing, and it was actually both of them. Okay. I mean, Trey Mann hasn't really played throughout his career at all, but he's, I think it'll be fine in this game. We get Oliver Lambert, sure. Uh, unfortunately, we won't have the bird rights to bring back Chris Dorte, and we pick up Terrence Mann. No, they're not brothers. Thought they were at one point. And we get the minivan. He was here at one point, but it's cool that we have Terrence Mann and Trey Mann. We get Josh Okoji, a couple guys from the 2018 draft class. All right, not a terrible offseason, not great by any means. I still hate this team uh, around Tatum, but you know what? We have some fun names. I don't know if that's smart to play Kobe White at shooting guard, but we'll see what happens. All right, so just taking a look at the rotation, we have Deshi Nix now. Okay, I guess we traded for him last year. We have Darius Baisley. Okay, all right, we have both team ends. I don't really know what this team is going to do this year. I'm hoping they maybe make another move or some lineup adjustments, but we're four and a half star balance. Hey, we may never, we may have another championship. 
on our horizon. So we have a new player win MVP this year. He was in the Eastern Conference, but it's not Jason Tatum. It goes to LaMelo Ball, sadly, as Ryan Alexander got killed it as a rookie, but I think he was drafted a few years ago. Victor Wembanyama is winning Depoy. He has been a superstar for the OKC Thunder. He's now been in the league for six years. We are, I like, before I go into that, Jason Tatum, all NBA first team again. Ah, uh, he had an MVP like season, but we were the sixth seed. And yeah, like the Hornets get it. I guess I was just in a bad era with Luka and he was just gonna win it every year. It's a fun Raptors team with like Gafford, Bona, Barnes, Okoro, Jordan Hawkins. It is beatable. We'll see if any moves were made through this team. But yeah, you finally started Kobe White at point guard. Smart. Tatum, we know, basically an MVP this year. Basically started the whole year at the four. God, he sucked. Uh, Robert Williams, you can play more minutes, you know. Trey Mann was pretty good. Yeah, that was a steal of a signing. Mitchell Robinson, we signed him. Okay. And then there's Terrence Mann, Deshi Nix, and Hakeem Udo. So we are probably four and a half star system proficiency, and that is the case. Can we pull off the upset on? No, I didn't want to do that. And I dropped my controller. And we won game one, though. That was nice. We ended up winning by three. Ugh, look at these minutes they played. I'm so confused. Oh, I guess because I'm on five minute quarter length, and it technically said I played it. So let's just simulate the round, and can we pull off the upset? We can't. We lose in seven by one point. You're kidding me. Oh, man. I may pull off a Jalen Brown trade in the offseason. I think I'm going to interfere and make a move. I think it has to be done. So two teams that have recently won a championship, the Suns and the Raptors went at it. And J.D. Davis and your finals MVP. Man, he's been a superstar. So they lost KD, got J.D. Davison. That's a nice trade-off. Couple notable names heading here um, into retirement. Bunch of guys that we know and love right now. Bradley Beal gets his jersey retired. Uh, rising star game, sure. No, we don't really need that. So let's go here to rookie signings. All right, and yeah, we're gonna pick up those two guys right now, and let's sign Larry Best and Stacey Garnett. Now it may be time for a Jalen Brown trade. So let's see what the best trade finder deal is gonna be. Probably we'll just do the best offer. I can get Andre Jackson, good player. Get a first on pick. Keontae George. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna do that trade if I can't find something better. Trevor Keels. Stud. All right, Shaden Sharp. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is probably the guy I want. I think I'm. Oh, Amani Bates. Now we're going to either do Shaden Sharp or Keontae George. Akoro is cool, but nope. We're going to do Sharp or George. James Book Knight, also really good. Okay, so do I want Keontae George who has two years left, or do I want Shaden Sharp who has three years left? He's 25. They're both 25. And you know what? I'm going to do Shaden Sharp here from the Charlotte Hornets. And that is the only move I'm going to make. So let's see what deals they pull off in free agency. Do they do anything? Probably not. Press is Achi with a three-year deal. Okay. So now you have him and Robert Williams. That's not terrible. Can they sign all three of these guys? I doubt it, but we'll see who they ended up with. Uh, they took Dennis Schroeder. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay, Nicholas Claxton. Jakob Pertl. Oh, man, Zach Collins. Uh, I guess we still have Kobe White and Trey Mann to be our starting point guards, though, so not the end of the world. So, play progression, we have Tatum, Sharp, White, Williams, Mann, Schroeder. Not a bad team. Not a great team by any means. All right, so it is the 2030 season. Let's take a look here. We have Dennis Schroeder. Welcome back to Boston. Kobe White, Tatum, Udo. Why wouldn't you start Shaden Sharp? Okay, no, no. I'm going to lose brain cells if that's going to be the case. We can also start Trey Man, you know. Ugh, why would you do this? I mean, like, it's going to end up changing because it's 2K and I allow them to, you know, edit the rotation and all, but that is just stupid. Why wouldn't you just start Shaden Sharp? He's like an MVP candidate when healthy. So JD Davison has a finals MVP and an MVP. He might have more of a go case than Jason Tatum does, which is just a damn shame for the first time in a while. Jason Tatum does not get all NBA first team. He does get all NBA second team. Now puts up 20, about four points a night, two shooting percentage of 63%. But hey, we're back up as the one seed. Yeah, I really like this roster right now. Do we finally have Shane Sharp in the uh, starting lineup? Thank you. He was a stud this year. Jalen Brunson is here. Okay, I have to look at that trade. And oh my God, Jabari Walker. It's a great signing, but he's just like one of those one and done guys, unfortunately. And I have a feeling we gave up like, I think it was Trey Man here for Jalen Brunson, which would just be a really stupid trade. But let's see what the deal was. <sighs> what are we doing? Just some kind of silly trades there. Uh, I did want to check out one more thing. I don't know though. I guess we're the one seed and that's really all I wanted. Okay, yeah, I actually wanted to see where Jason Tatum was in all time scoring. Is he in the top 30 now? I don't know. He is not in the top 30. He's 32. Really good. So, as a one seed, can we get Jason Tatum? I think this would be his fourth. I don't know if this is his fourth or his third. I gotta double check it. Uh, finals MVP if we were to win it all. And we make it to the conference finals, but lose to the Orlando Magic in six. We end up coming back down from like three. Oh my god, I'm pissed. Look who's the superstar. Look who was just finals MVP. Gene Montero. Oh my god, I'm gonna yell. 
I hate my life. Yep. Brad Stevens, thank you for being a dumbass. Yeah, we're just like, I guess Brad Stevens is like, yeah, gee, I don't want Jason Tatum to be the GOAT. Why would I want that? So if I just quickly look at uh, NBA history here, we have three. Yeah, Jason Tatum has three finals MVPs. That is not GOAT material. It's just not. With like no other MVP awards said. Wait, wait. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, wow, like DeMontis Sabonis made the Hall of Fame, but that was not that. So we're gonna renounce the rights on Robert Williams. We signed Earl Farrell. Okay, RJ Rush and Junior Simpson. Wow, Brad Stevens has done an utter, like, shitty job. Oh, Google Badatze, the world is saved. There's like so many times where I just wanna drop like F-bombs, like right there. I just don't wanna get demonetized, you know? It's just, is it worth it at the end of the day? Probably not. So Tatum drops to a 94. He is 32 years old, going to his age 33 season. He's probably got about four left, I would say, four or five left. So we're on to the uh, year 2031. We have Brunson, Sharp, Tatum. Oh God, this front court. Holy shit, this team sucks. So we end up as the 90 this year. And you see a lot of these goat race career sims. I see the CP, you don't build really good teams around the studs we have. Either it's Ja, Zion, Lamelo, etc. But wow. Whoever is controlling this team, I'm going to call Brad Stevens, but it's the CPU, has done an awful job building around Jason Tatum. Just It's just been awful, made him some very stupid decisions. And here we are in the year 2031 competing in the playing tournament. Like, it, it's embarrassing. It really is. And, like, we can see that we, oh, have Usman Garuba. We traded for him. Not a bad idea because, like, we needed some front court help. So that trade looked like, I mean, Garuba, not bad. Um, we could see, where is the Celtics? Wait. We had Jalen Duran. Oh, I guess we signed him. Okay. Um, is Garuba under contract? He is not. So we have the Detroit Pistons in round one. Ah, they beat us in the playoffs a few years ago in five games, I think, in round one. So can we maybe get revenge for that? We are currently down by 10 points here with five minutes left in the third. Shaden Sharp has been carrying. And let's see if we can come back in the fourth. And it is not looking good. And we end up losing by 10 points. Sharp and Tatum combined for 66. But it doesn't matter because this team is... Ass. And the Milwaukee Bucks win the 2031 NBA Finals with Lonzo Ball being your Finals MVP. They have John Collins, Amari Bailey, Jalen Johnson. Yeah. All right. Clint Capella, shout out to that team. A couple former Hawks. Embiid, Kyrie, most likely going to be going to the Hall of Fame. I don't think Wiggins will get there. Nah. So Jeff Harrison, we had the 12th overall pick. We're picking that up. Wow. Our savior, Jeff Harrison. Trade the freaking pick. So Kobe White's a free agent. So is Jalen Brunson and Stacey Garnett. Three basically point guards. Let's see how many we print back. Probably going to be zero because we're signing Reynardo Santos and Gabe Baxter and Kirk Simon. This team is a f joke. <sighs> Absolute joke. Tyro Terry, what are we doing? Oh my god, this is hard to watch. It really is. We just signed Xavier Tillman, who's like a 74 overall. Oh my god, why would you let those three point guards walk and you're signing like 75 overalls in 2031? Holy shit. What the f hell? What? What is going on? Bro, Tatum's gonna retire next year if these are the teams we are building around him. Like, what is he supposed to do with this dog shit around him? Holy crap. It's Tatum Sharp and a bunch of scrubs. This is embarrassing. Welcome back, Peyton Pritchard. All you need to do is just re-sign Gene Montero. So, Victor Wembanyama wins MVP. All right. Yeah, we can kiss goodbye. Uh, Tatum winning MVP. But you know what makes no sense? We're the two seed. This video has made no effing sense because I'm ready to see the 13 seed pop up and we're the two seed. Now, I'm guessing we signed somebody. You know, that always happens. And that was Kevin Porter Jr. We signed him. He was good. But, like, the team, we signed Pat P.G. Washington or we traded for him. But, man, this bench kind of sucks. So, I don't really know how we were this good. We still have Mojave King, who's 29 years old. Tyrell Terry's here, but, like, yeah, led behind Jason Tatum. Led behind Shaden Sharp. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. is pretty solid. But I don't really get this team. It says on proficiency is four stars. Jason Tatum in all-time scoring is 13th. He could probably get into the top 10 next year if he has another 20 plus per game season. And in the playing tournament, uh, the Orlando Magic prevail. And we are going to swoo gentlemen sweep them in round one. They beat us a couple years ago. So that is nice to see. Now we have Milwaukee in round two. Who won it all recently, right? With Monza Ball. Yep. And they have Amari Bailey. He's good. And battle of the green teams here. Can we move on to the conference finals? And we can't. Oh, we lose in seven. Damn, I guess Jason Tatum, I don't think he's going to get another ring. And the Suns have just been dominating, man. J.D. Davis is your finals MVP. All right, so I don't know how many years we got left of Jason Tatum. Donovan Mitchell just retired, but he was older coming out of Louisville into the NBA than Tatum was coming out of Duke. They're going to pick up the team optional. William Ferguson. Sounds like somebody that was like, I don't know, in the 1800s. But here he is trying to help Tatum become the GOAT. We get Tail Maladon. Okay. 
He has been maybe the most inefficient player I've ever seen throughout his career. So that is sick. Oh, Killian Hayes. He's also been inefficient. Stacey Morris. So more inefficient. We just love inefficiency here in Boston. Marco Fultz. You could have been a Celtic at one point, 2017 draft, but good thing for Celtics fans, he wasn't. So Tatum has now regressed down to a 92 overall. This is his age 35 season. It could be his last. All right, so Tatum's 35 season. We got Hayes, Sharp, Tatum, Hashimura, PG Washington. Okay, a couple guys from the 2019 draft class. We'll see what they can do and see if they can help Tatum. Imeo Doka is still here. Something you don't normally see. Like there's usually a revolving doors of coaches here in these co-race career sims, but we've had Adoka for a while. We're off to not a great start to 2033. And yeah, we're back to dog shit as we were the 12th seed this year and we're basically ruined Jason Tatum's career. Thank you, Brad Stevens, for that. Tatum doesn't even get an all NBA team. Uh, he's down to a 92 overall. He averaged 18 points this year. I mean, like that's probably not because of the team itself. Oh, we signed AJ Griffin. He's cool, but these one year, $2 million deals aren't gonna do it for us. Oh man, this was one of the more frustrating ones. Not because like we had like a lot of team failures. It's just like, what was the GM of this team doing? Tatum's 11th all time in scoring. Uh, we're not even in the playing tournament. That's how bad this has become. I, I don't like Tatum might retire, which sucks, man. Really does. Cause I was hoping he would get an MVP in this video. That's not, I'm getting mad. That's two finals MVPs for two different teams. Stop it right now. God, if it wasn't like one in the morning, my parents' house, I would scream loud. All right, well, Tatum's coming back for another year. His counterpartner for a while, uh, Jalen Brown retires. So I'm intrigued to see who out of those guys got to the Hall of Fame. I was gonna say definitely Jokic and Giannis, but Ben Simmons also does. Okay, Jalen Brown gets his jersey retired by the Celtics. So Lonnie Samuels here. We had the first overall pick. Holy crap, we won the lottery. I, I usually skip over the lottery here. I have it on auto. Uh, made it, but wow, that was kind of sick. Let's go. We got Lonnie Samuels. Maybe he can get Tatum a ring in his second or in his uh, rookie season. <laughs> Watch like Shaden Sharpie a free agent and 2K is like, yeah, nah, we don't really need a back. So now nah, it looks like we don't really have any two big free agents. We get Deshi Nix back after a stint away. We just love the inefficiency. I mean, he wasn't that inefficient last year for uh, Golden State. Yeah, nah, he was good. Rob Romero, cool. 30 year old, 76 overall center, 77 overall, like 30 year old. Tristan Vucevic, welcome. So Tatum is now below the 90s for the first time since the start of this video where he was an 88, I believe. All right, so this could potentially be Tatum's last season. This is the team. <laughs> Pretty uneventful. I just want to see real quick how many years Tatum has left on this deal. Three, so maybe he doesn't retire after this year. Maybe he finishes out that contract. Yeah, so this makes me want to do like a Victor Wembenyama career sim, go, uh, go race career sim. So we're the fourth seed this year. You know what? We might be able to get one more ring for Tatum. I don't think he's going to make any all NBA teams, which would have been crazy if he did. Luke is on the team that drafted him now. But yeah, we're not in the playing tournament. I do want to see kind of what the rotation looks like. Who did we add this year? Lonnie Samuels? Or no, he was the first overall pick. Maybe that's the reason why we may be able to do well. Brandon Miller we traded for. Okay. And then how did uh, Shaden Sharp do? Stood. Yeah, he's been better than Jalen Brown would have been. And Jason Tatum put up those numbers. Now, I want to see if Jason Tatum is in the top 10 all-time scoring. He is number nine. If he did one more year, he'd pass Jordan. I don't know if Booker's retired. He would maybe even pass Katie and Kobe uh, and Giannis. Probably not. I don't really know how many points you score in a season on top of my head, but that just kind of doesn't seem too likely. So can we beat the Orlando Magic and get one last run? We sweep them, and then we get swept by the Wizards. All right, I, I think Tatum's going to have another year in here. I don't think he's going to retire. Cade Cunningham wins finals MVP for the Wizards. So let's just see. Yeah, there goes Devin Booker. Uh, Chris Stops, Cap, bunch of 2015 guys. So yeah, Donovan Mitchell kind of retired fairly early. And Cat and Booker going to the Hall of Fame. All right, so we're here in the 2034 free agency. Sharp and Tatum are under contract. That's really all we need. All right, so here in 2035, we have Nick Sharp, Tatum, Samuels. I don't even know. Like, we have so much roster turnover every year. I really can't get attached to anybody besides Jason Tatum and Shaden Sharp. So, yeah, no awards from Tatum. And we are the eighth seed. I mean, it is what it is. Tatum's at the end of his career. And I thought he got traded for a second, but they moved him to power forward. Hmm. He averaged 15 points a night. I don't know if that gets him into like the top seven in May. He is eighth. Yeah, oh my god, he needed 343 more points to pass Kobe. I uh, need a decent amount to pass Luca. All right, yeah, I'm just ready for, it's like, let's put Tatum out of his misery, man. This dude is so old, and it was kind of a disappointment. We don't even make it out of the play-in tournament. Not even one MVP, three, three finals MVPs, and we'll look at him. It hasn't happened in so long. I, I mean, Tatum might run it for another year, but there's probably no point in it. 
Uh, there goes Lonzo from the 2017 class. I mean, unless Tatum pops up in Hall of Fame, I guess he didn't retire. Oh my God, Tatum, you're really going for one more year? I guess he's going for that final year of that contract. He's going to make that 55 mil. All right, so I believe this would be Tatum's final year. Could he pass Kobe in scoring his in 82? Honestly, I mean, it's, it's going to change, but can we just do this? Tatum, just... Score as many points you can in your final season. And in Tatum's final year with the 11 seed. This video, man. Oh my god. We started off doing so well. Tatum's an 83. Ah, it sucks. It, it really does. I mean, it's too late now. Like, I have to go till Tatum retires. And whoever controlled this was the GM. Kind of did Tatum dirty the last, like, seven years of his career. So, yeah, Jason Tatum is most likely going to retire. No way. He's going for another one. You're kidding me. You're, what? He's actually, oh my God, he's a free agent. What is he doing? I mean, I have to go to the end, but like, what are we waiting for, Tatum? Like, I don't even know what Tatum, like, he's, team he's gonna be on. If he doesn't get signed, he doesn't get signed. But uh, I guess, yeah, we're gonna renounce his $83 million cap hold. We signed Evan Mobley, holy shit, once Tatum leaves. Um, he's 35, so sure. Uh, I'll see what team Tatum signs for, and I guess that's what team I'll cover next year. So Tatum was re-signed by the Celtics. He's gonna be coming off the bench. Uh, okay, how many years did he get? He ended up getting a one-year $23 million deal. Uh, you have to think this is the last one. Does he want to pass Giannis to be fifth all-time in scoring? Possibly. All right, so the Celtics team is the eighth seed. Did they move Tatum? Nope, they didn't. I was about to say that would be funny. So we'll see Tatum, who averaged 12.2 points a night, shot 40 from three and 90 plus on the line. He is now fifth all-time in, in total points. He, he definitely wanted to pass Giannis. That's all he did one more year. So they actually make the play or uh, win the playing tournament as a 7 seed, but they end up getting swept. Yeah, I don't know. Tatum one kind of feels like a dud, kind of like the Luka one. I mean, we started off so strong with winning three finals MVPs. There he goes. He retires after 19 seasons. It was a good one. It definitely was. And it is a shame that Tatum never got an MVP. He finished fifth in total points. He finished eighth in field goals made, fourth in three-pointers made, 31st in free throws made. I don't know if he'd be up there in rebounds. I doubt it. He was ever like a big rebound. I'm sure he's there in the top 100. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a lot of Jason Tatum here. I probably passed over him. You never know. Don't really see him in assist either. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. We didn't get any MVPs. A crap ton of all NBA first teams, but that was really it. That was. I mean, can I look at Tatum's stats? I can't. Oh, no, I can. So, if we go to his awards here, I guess the most notable are three-time NBA Champions Series Finals MVP, 15-time All-Star. He ended up getting eight All-NBA first teams, three second teams, three third teams, and one first team All-Rookie. So, yeah, not a GOAT. Probably a top 15 player of all time, but not the GOAT. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Drop like if you did. Let me know down below who you want to see next in the GOAT race career sim. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.